Hey guys, it's Stuart here, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to use the Insights section of the Meta Business Suite. This is very important for keeping a track of posts, engagement, and making sure you're creating quality content that your audience is responding to. Now, just before we get started with today's tutorial, please don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's hop into the Meta Business Suite and show you how to use the Insights tool. Okay, so here we are on the home page of the Meta Business Suite. And to get started with using the Insights tool, we're going to navigate to the left-hand drop-down menu under Meta Business Suite and look for Insights. Once we find it, we're going to click on it, and it's going to then open the Homepage Insights dashboard here in the Meta Business Suite. And we're going to scroll over and just give you a quick overview of the five things that are immediately available. We have the overview, which is the section with all of the information here in regards to the page likes, followers, posts that you've put up recently, and how much of an influence you've had with your Facebook and Instagram reach in a paid metric. You look at the results, which is the Facebook page reach, your Instagram reach, and people that you're reaching with your ads. You can always export this information as a PNG, CSV, or PDF at any time. Just scroll down to the one you want and click on it, and that will start downloading the information. We then come to content, which is all of the information that you have put up on your Facebook and Instagram pages. And you can see whether it's an ad, or whether it's an organic post. And to do that, we simply need to navigate over to the ads, posts and stories section. And you can then just select which posts you want to see. So if you want to get rid of all of the ads, just click the tick button to remove it. And that will then bring up the reach that you have had with each of the posts. Coming back to the left-hand section, we have audience, where you can have a look at where the people who are engaging with your content are coming from by city and by gender and also by platform as well. So what we're going to have a look at here briefly is the countries that we're most effective in reaching. Obviously, living in New Zealand, that's our top audience. And you can then go over to potential audience and you can have a look at where your untapped audience is and what sort of pages they are interested in. So we're going to scroll back up and we're going to then go to feedback. Now, this is a section that isn't really too important at this point, but if you're ever wanting to uh, get a bit of an idea of what your post quality and content is like, you can look at the average rating section here where people actually um, rate their experience interacting with your page and content. And you can also have a look at the responses as well um, that you've received when requesting feedback. So if we go back to the overview section right here, it's one of those interesting ones where we want to just use this as the springboard for accessing the other information. So the results, content, and audience are the most important things in the insights tool. So you want to first look at when creating the overview, you want to have a look at the time period that you are measuring the content for. If we go and measure the year to date performance so far, that's the best starting point to I use the overview platform for because it gives you the foundation on what you are trying to measure and achieve. And once you have got that date set up, you can move into the results section and start having a bit of an overview of the information. So if you have a look at the page reach right here, there's a couple of spikes here. And the reason for that on Facebook and Instagram is because I've done paid advertising during these periods of time to get an understanding of how effective the posts are and the quality of it. So if you are doing organic posts or if you're promoting posts, um, make sure that you use this information here 
and see when these spikes are so that you can understand what time of the day you want to post the content. And if we scroll down to the ad trends right here from paid reach and paid impressions as well, you can get a very good understanding as to the amount of money that's being spent and also the people that you're reaching. So if you're finding that there's a good um, spike here for the amount that you're spending, go and have a look at obviously what we're covering next and see what type of content is being produced. So we'll be keeping an eye out for anything that went out on the 8th of February as there was a massive spike in impressions and also on the 1st of January as well. So let's scroll back up over to the content section. And this is gonna be a very important part of your journey as a business admin and a content creator, because this section will show you how many people you have reached and what the engagement has been like. And also if you're running paid advertising and promoted posts, it'll allow you to see what content has been the most effective. So we are going to navigate over to the overall reach and we are just going to click on the up down buttons next to reach and we're going to go ascending. So these are the posts which are the least popular out of all of the ones that we have shared so far. You can see here only reached 16 people, 22 people, 23 people. If we want to change that to see the most popular posts, we just click on the arrow again and we click on descending and that will show the most popular posts that have come about so far. So as you can see, this post here has reached 129,425 people. It's had 13 likes and reactions. And that was the Facebook post here that I did with um, Stuart Gold. So the important things that you want to look for here is the amount of people that you have reached, the likes and reactions that you have received from the post as well. And if you notice a trend with the content that you're putting out with this one, so here, it's how to make passive and semi-passive income online. A couple of predictions about the Joe Rogan versus Neil Young uh, controversy. Every Facebook page admin should be doing this. All of them are getting a very good level of uh, reach and also likes and reactions as well. So you can use these insights here to create duplicate content that is successful. And if we're going to scroll back up here, and let's say rather than focusing on organic content we want to have a look at the ads only we then click on removing the posts and the stories we can begin to begin to get an idea of which are the most successful ones based again on uh, the overall results the cost per result and the amount of link clicks as well so let's go with descending and one of the things about the results here is it's going to play an important part in your overall promotional strategy so we can see here the interview with Stuart Gold again 1091 link clicks cost per result very economical at just two cents a click and we've also got another one here about setting up an ad in 2022 with a watch more call to action. And that again has got a cost per result of just two cents. So that's a brief overview so far on how to navigate the insights tool and how to get the right information that you are looking for. And if you want to have a look at some of the top performers, you can just click the arrows on either side here and that will give you an insight into the uh, posts that are performing very well and if we include everything in one section you can then click across with relative ease to each of them and if you just hover your mouse over the text here you can see what the post content actually is and that allows you to then go to uh, the content section and find that post with ease.
So we're then going to navigate to the audience section here. And that gives a full insight into who our audience size in based on uh, age breakdown. So if we hover the mouse over it, we can see the breakdown uh, for each section here. We can see that by the gender, 36% women, 64% men. And on Instagram, it's 63.7% women, 36.3% men. And here's the breakdown there. And if you hover the mouse over again, you can see the age demographics. We can see too the top towns and cities that people are visiting from by each platform with Facebook on the left hand side and Instagram on the right hand side. Same with the countries, Facebook to the left, Instagram to the right. And again, you can export this information to PNG, CSV, PDF. You can also look too at your potential audience size. So over here, we have got potential size of 3.6 to 4.3 million um, that we can reach right now based on the information that has been collected with women slightly dominating the men and our key audience size between, being between the ages of 25 and 64. And the towns and cities that we want to target based on the engagement that we've had so far is Auckland, Christchurch, Wellington, and Hamilton. So have a look at this information when you are setting up sponsored and promoted posts. Look where your main audience is coming from with the current engagement with towns and cities and countries, and look to create content that is useful to people in those areas. So that's a quick overview today on how to use the insight section of the Meta Business Suite, everybody. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave a comment down below with your thoughts on how useful you found the video. And I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Bye for now.